Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at templates in Illustrator. Perhaps the most important thing to consider is why you would even want to use a template layer inside Illustrator. Well, the answer is that it makes a handy way of being able to bring in a drawing or a reference image and then to be able to use that to draw on top of. So I have a template layer here. I've brought it in and converted it to a template, although it is possible to have that process be automatic and we're going to have a look at both of these. As a template, the image is on a layer all by itself. It's locked down so it won't move. It's had its opacity reduced to about 50%, but that can be varied. So I'm able to ascertain pretty easily what part of this is drawing and later on what part of my own vector shapes on top. So this is really the primary reason why you'd use a template layer in Illustrator is to have a reference image that you can then add vector shapes to above and use it as a basis for doing your art. So how do you create this template? Well, there are a couple of ways and they each have benefits and disadvantages. Let's start by choosing to create a brand new document. Now I'm going to make mine square at a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. I'm going to bring in that same image, this time as an automatic template. I'll choose file and then place. I'm selecting the image here and down here. What I want to do is to select the template option and then I'll click place. Now the issue with this method of creating a template is that my original image was really, really big. And this is the artboard here. And the illustration that's actually on the artboard is not the one I want to use, but everything else has been created automatically for me. I've got a new blank layer. I've got my layer with my image in it and it's locked down and created as a template. To be able to scale this so that I can see the actual image I want, I'm going to have to come in here and undo all of this. So I'm going to need to unlock it. I'm going to need to target the illustration itself. And then I need to find the top corner of it, hold the shift key and start to scale it. The bit that I want is this one here. I'm just moving it around until it's pretty much in the middle of the artboard and then I can go and lock this layer down again. Press Control or Command Zero to zoom into the artboard. It is just a little bit cumbersome and obviously the rest of the art is hanging around here. So you can use that process but you can also do it manually and let's have a look and see how we do it manually. I'll choose File and then New and again create that same 1000 by 1000 pixel document. I'll go back and again choose File and then Place. I'll again choose my image but this time I'm not checking the template option. I'll click Place. This time I get to draw where I want this image to be so I'm going to make sure that I put it inside the artboard. Now I've also got options up here because it is a bitmap image and what I want to do is to crop it. I'm going to get rid of all the bits that I don't want. Now I'm warned that cropping a linked file will embed a copy of the original file in this document. That's just fine. I'll click OK. So now I'm going to just drag over and select just the portion of the image that I want and that this piece here. I'll click Apply. The rest of the image has been removed. I'm going to hold the Shift key as I just drag this out to make it a large size. So right now this is a cropped bitmap image on a layer by itself. To turn this into a template we need to double click here on the layer. Now these are the options you see if you click on a layer but if you click here on the image you'll see that these options are not available. So if you see the smaller version of options it means that you haven't double clicked on the right spot. So let's double click here on this layer. We're going to click here on template and dim images has been set to 50%. So this is going to be reduced in terms of its opacity to 50% when I click OK. Now all I need to do because this has been locked down and that is a consequence of turning it into a template as the whole layer has been locked down. I'll just click here to create a new layer. So we're at the same position as we were when we chose and created this image here, but I think it's a much neater result. I haven't got a whole lot of image in this document. I've just got the portion that I wanted. Building it up manually, I think is the better option, but you now know how to do it both ways and you can make your choice. Before we finish up this video, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. 
When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer, and typically mine will be better. I also have illustrator training at udemy.com and there is a referral link for each of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.